It's the OCG Fam Show. Today we're talking about dealing with pH issues right near the end of your grow. Hey there. Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? How you doing out there? Let me know in the comments. We'll talk about it after the show right now. Let's just get into the show. So, yesterday we were talking about uh, pH issues right near the end of your grow. You get it early, you use some garden lime, you use some chimera when it comes out. You get that thing sorted out for good. But uh, for whatever reason, you get down to the end of the thing and you're having trouble, pH is dropping, what are you going to do? Uh, we talked about using the carbonated water, but uh, we just talked about the process of using the carbonated water, like at that two week on that first feeding, getting that going and also about doing it with the flush. But uh, Scott and I, in that uh, episode where I showed the clip from, talked a little more about it, about um, getting through that whole two weeks. And I thought it was interesting. I hope you will too. So I'd like you to watch the clip and I'll talk to you after. How many more feedings do I have at two weeks out? And do I do that same thing with all of them? Or just that well, one yeah, time? Because even with your final flush, if you're trying to do any of the Aphrodite's and Hurt flushing at the mm -hmm. end, if you're flushing that at a 5.7, you're just wasting Hurt and Aphrodite's. None of it's available to your plant because it, the pH is so low. So it's like, that's great. You're loading me up with more gum so I won't drain as fast in your last few days. Oh. But if you correct that, it's literally driving that into the plant with bicarbonate. I mean, that conversion of limestone carbonate to bicarbonates with that uh, carbonated water with Herculean in there, with Aphrodite's in there, that just slams that food in there for the ripening process. So my full feeding or my Herculean flush, either one I would use the same process of using the carbonated water with overgoing with my, my, my Olympus and then dropping it back down with my carbonated water. Yep. But, okay, okay. Uh, it, it's the Band-Aid. It's not, you know, yeah. I, I wouldn't want to do a commercial farm that way. And uh -huh. I wouldn't want to do 20 plants for the whole flowering cycle. But people that didn't get their limestone in early, I get all this almost do. like three times, four times a week mm -hmm. from growers. They're going, all right, well, I'm five weeks in. My pH is at 5.7. Everything's yellow. I've been feeding at 7.4. And it's like the downfall of like over pHing your feeds is that you're not counteracting the uptake, you're counteracting the soil pH, and that's gonna take weeks to balance that pH back out. So mm -hmm. you're missing the feed on the high end, your soil's on the low end, the food in the middle just depositing, not being brought up, and so you're battling this battle the whole way. Okay. So doing that carbonation trick, we're not so concerned anymore about the uh, soil pH it's done. in the root zone because it's too late, you yeah. can't fix it in time, so now we're gonna fix the food. And the okay. food is what rushes over. That's the five minute slurry we're looking for because that's what the time it's passing over the roots and they're sucking up is all they can. The rest of it just deposits out. Okay. Mm. What do you think of that? Informative, entertaining, helpful? Have you had issues with pH dropping right near the end? You were good all the way too and then, and what'd you do? How'd you deal with it? What'd you think about how Scott talked about dealing with it? Let's talk about it more. Anything else? Throw in the comments. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show. It's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.